Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Marky, and today I've got a big old story about mistaken identity. Police thought I was a prostitute. About two or three years ago, I worked at a gas station. For some context, this gas station in particular is a place where a lot of drug deals and stuff go down. It was one of my first jobs, and I didn't really like being seen in the uniform in public, so I would go to work with my uniform in my old backpack from high school and would change in the employee room, then change back after my shift. So one day my shift is over, and my now ex-stepfather is waiting for me. But I can't close my register while there's a line of customers, so I end up coming out like 20 minutes late. In my normal clothes, that is. Apparently, while my stepfather was waiting for me, someone called the police on him for suspicious behavior. And as we're about to leave, we're stopped by the police. They question my stepfather about what he was doing, and he tells them. And the officer gives me a dirty look, and says something along the lines of, Oh, so you weren't waiting on this lady to bring home for fun? He had more colourful language than that. I was then questioned on where I worked, what my shift was, why I was off so late, etc, etc, until he finally asked where my uniform was. To which I responded by promptly taking it out of my backpack and showing him my name tag as well. He still didn't believe me, I guess because he then wanted me to run my ID. So, I give him my state ID that says I'm a freshly 18 year old. He thought I was younger, and he took it to his car. He then came back with it, and gave my stepfather a bogus ticket for not having his license on him. Probably so he didn't look like a dumb A. Hope this fits here, and I hope it's a good story. I'm a photographer, not a horny teen. This happened to me a while ago at a volleyball training school that I worked at part-time. My dad co-owns the place with four other people, two of which are ex-pro volleyball players from Russia. At the school, we have different coloured shirts for the students based on age range, green, blue, white, and a black shirt for staff. All of these have a giant logo of the school plastered on the front of it. Since I play soccer and have school to focus on, I only work there part-time. When I'm there, I do things like update rosters, take payments, translate for people in Spanish, which is the first language, and things of that nature. Now, because I like photography and my pictures are pretty decent, my dad pays me extra than my usual salary to take pictures for their website and to help him with logos and colour schemes for game uniforms which are different from practice uniforms. Photoshop stuff, you know? Relatively easy. Anyway, I walked in one Thursday afternoon, and after completing some paperwork and finalizing some payments, I went out of the staff room slash office to take pictures of the class in action. We teach from grade levels 8 to 12. Today was a class of 8 to 9 graders. I had my uniform on, but because it was a bit chilly inside, I didn't bother taking my jacket off. I thought that as long as I kept it unzipped so people could see the logo on the shirt, I would be fine. That was a mistake. I set my camera's shutter speed, checked to make sure the flash was off, don't want to mess up the students, and started snapping pictures. It was at this point one girl's father came in to pick up his daughter. I should mention that normally the girl's mother picks her up, so he didn't know that staff very well. There was still 5-10 to 10 minutes left of class, so he made his way over to the rows of chairs lining the wall of the gym, until he saw me, a punk high schooler, 11th grade at the time, taking pictures of his poor freshman daughter and her classmates that I can use for my own enjoyment in the privacy of my bedroom. He immediately got up from his seat and stormed up to me. He demanded to know what I was doing taking pictures of his daughter, and threatened to destroy my camera if I didn't give him the SD card that second. I was so shocked at the sudden confrontation that I couldn't think of anything to say. So I simply grabbed the side of my jacket and opened it a little so the logo on my shirt became visible. 
The look on his face when he saw the staff uniform I had on was one of absolute horror and shame. He mumbled a half-assed apology and walked back to the seating area. Now, every time he walks in, he never speaks to me. Even when the bill for the classes is due to be paid, he either waits until he's sure I'm not around, or he gets his wife to do it. He's actually a nice guy from what my dad tells me. He's just ashamed. And I would be too if I was him. Towing guy gets confused for an illegal parker. Context. My dad worked for a towing company which had plenty of contracts with property owners to tow heavy vehicles that are parked illegally. Police officers patrol the properties, spot illegal parkers, and call dispatch up, which then call him to tow. My dad drove a 50-ton quick swap with the company's logo on both sides of the truck. Because of the contracts, he is allowed to park on the owner's properties if he needs to rest. Plus, it provides a good bait for unsuspecting heavy drivers. Now, on to the story. My dad was in a parking lot, taking a quick nap, since he had been driving for a while and it was the middle of the night. He gets a call from dispatch saying there was a private property tow that needed to be picked up. He was given the address, which just so happened to be where he was. He got out of the truck and looked around to see no illegal parker in sight. He informed dispatch of this and then ended the call. Before he could get back in, a police officer then approached him. The following conversation ensues. D is my dad and P is police officer. Police officer starts off, what do you think you're doing? You can't park here. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. This is private property. I've just called someone to come pick up your truck. Yeah, I know you did. I just got off the phone with the dispatch about it. I can't tow myself. I highly recommend you leave, because when towing company arrives, your truck is going to get impounded. Then, they better wake up someone from day shift, because I have the biggest truck in night shift in the entire company. Now you're being smart. Well, one of us has to be. What do you mean? My dad then pointed to a sign that was at the entrance of the parking lot. Go ahead, read that sign out for me. The officer went to the sign and began reading. Police officer reading the sign out loud. Mm, commercial vehicles parked without authorization will be removed and impounded at owner's expense. Dad then told the officer to read the bottom of the sign. The officer did just that and then looked at the side of my dad's truck, noticing that the logos match and then realizing the errors he's made. He made the walk of shame back to his car and left, leaving my dad with a funny story to tell me once he's got home that morning. And our last story, no, I'm not stealing. My senior year of high school, I worked at a Starbucks. The one Saturday I worked the middle shift and had my school bag with me to do some homework when I was done. My manager was working that day too and was at the register. After my shift, I moved my laptop over to a table but left my jacket and backpack in the back room. After about an hour, I was done, so I got up and went to grab my stuff before refilling my cup with water. As soon as I walked back out into the cafe, a woman waiting for her drink started screaming that I was a thief and that someone had to call the cops. My manager walked over trying to defuse the situation, explaining that I do work there and I just left my stuff in the back to do homework. She was still screaming when a cop happened to walk in, and he would come in at least twice a week, so he knew me as well. The woman started exclaiming about how great it was that he was there and that he needed to arrest me for stealing money. He starts laughing and also explained that I worked there. The woman left about 15 minutes later, still complaining. I don't know why it took the manager and a cop to tell her, but I was just happy so she left so I could go home. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. Tell me what you thought of it down in the comments below. I am really looking forward to your feedback. Um, tell me what other kind of stories you want to hear. Tell me about you know, any stories in your life where people have mistaken you for something else while you were at work. I am more than keen to hear. Also, if you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
I'm posting content like this twice a day, and I hope you're here for the next episode. I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.